Lab Rats. My name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. Today on the show, we're going to take a closer look. We're going to dig inside your computer even deeper. Mm -hmm. We're going to check out the BIOS. BIOS 101, if you will. BIOS 101, a BIOS primer, primer. We had a request from a viewer, so. Was that right? Yeah, we did. All right, so okay. we're going to look at it today. Well, we're going to get into it in a second, but first, a message from our sponsor. So BIOS, BIOS is uh, b bring it on stupid? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's a basic input output system. Right. Now the BIOS is at the heart of your motherboard and uh, you've got the operating system which runs pretty much underneath whatever you're doing from day to day mm -hmm. when your computer is on. So it's like the application layer, right? The, the Microsoft Word and programs like that. Right. Operating system under that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the BIOS is right down below the, uh, there, there's the hardware, then there's the BIOS, yeah. and then there's the operating system. Right. It's so, kind of like a sandwich. We should do a yeah. food demo one day. The mm. layers of computers. Mm. Mm. Yummy. <laughs> so the, uh, the BIOS is essentially what tells the hardware how to make your operating system run. Oh, is that right? So yeah? it sets up all the parameters for the hardware that's on the system and gets it ready to go. Now, it is user serviceable, right? You can actually go and modify your BIOS if you choose. Yes, you can. Now, under what circumstances would you change your BIOS? Um, if your system isn't running right, if it's sensing hardware that you don't want to be on there, so say you've got a serial port on your computer and yeah. you don't want it there You can anymore, turn those things off. You can turn those right. things off. You can, uh, if, you're, if you're a tweaker, you use the BIOS to upgrade your, uh, your speed settings. Oh, I like that word. If yeah. you're a tweaker. Tweaker. <laughs> you're all tweakers because you're watching the show. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So yeah, you can up, you, the BIOS is where you would change the speed of your, your RAM and your CPU and the multiplier, how they interact with each other. Mm -hmm. that's, that's more advanced stuff and we're going to show you a few things that are a little bit more, uh, more beginner mm -hmm. today. Plus time and date. Time and date. And boot sequence. Mm -hmm. Things like that. That time and date you don't have to worry about so much because that'll generally get set from Windows. From Windows, but, yeah. Uh, but you can set it there too. Cool. Okay. So should we, should we go uh, BIOS diving? Right. All right. So let's, uh, let me just so the first thing down is here. You have to do, get to the BIOS while you're starting up the oh. computer. Oh. Oh. Is your back all right? Oh, it's my knees. All right. So you see it says F2 setup, F12 boot menu. So we're going to hit F2 right off the bat. Now that will, that entry point into the BIOS will change depending on what yeah. your system is and what the BIOS is. There's several different manufacturers of BIOS right? and uh, they'll have different escape codes. And sometimes it's like, you know, escape F1 and, you know, shift F9 and, you know. Yeah, uh, the basic way to find out is look at the screen as it's starting up. Mm -hmm. If you have a splash screen, like we saw the Dell screen there, but it also told us what to do. Sometimes you have to see a splash screen that doesn't tell you anything beyond that. Right. Hit your escape key and generally that will clear that off and you can see the keys that you have to hit to That's get good. in. Yeah. So F2 is a, a popular one, Delete is a popular one, F10, I think F12 used to be popular beforehand yeah. on older machines. But nobody has made this standardized. This is actually drives me bonkers. It's one of the things, you know, that some they could, could get together over a beer and say, Hey guys, let's make BIOS access F2. Or, yeah, I, I think know. it is sort of moving towards F2 as a as a standard thing. Right. But like I said, check your uh, check, check your startup screen. The other sure. place to check, of course, is uh, and this is I always buy Dell machines. Um, when I always go to the Dell site and I look up you know BIOS uh, entry or whatever, mm -hmm. and usually you can find it on the manufacturer's mm -hmm. website. Or perhaps if you have a, if you have a custom built machine and a, and a motherboard. Uh, that you put in yourself and check the motherboard's manual because the likelihood is that the... Is that right? Yeah, it is true, right? Motherboard yeah, will have the BIOS pre-engineered in it? Yeah, often... Yeah, the, the BIOS is like right on the motherboard. So you don't have to put a BIOS on yourself, uh, buy a separate BIOS, do you? No, 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 you almost never have to do that unless you you used to a long it. time ago. Yeah, yeah. Not, not anymore. The BIOS is just integrated and you don't have to worry about it. Okay. They said unless... We're, we're going to get into flashing your BIOS later on uh, mm -hmm. if you want to upgrade and that's when uh, you really end up with serious problems. Right. Yeah, with the BIOS when you would have to replace it. Yeah, let's, let's not flash the BIOS that <laughs> yeah. way. Okay. Um, so when you uh, enter the BIOS yeah. in general, you will start with uh, wow. a screen. This machine's yeah. loud. It is. And this is, one, this is one reason why you may want to flash your BIOS later on <laughs> is because it may fix up some of those problems. Yeah. 
All right, so uh, this one right here is a specialized Dell Dimension BIOS. Uh, often you'll see um, along the top a, a number of different menus that will drop down that will allow you access into sub-menus. Yeah. And in this case, we've got them running down the side here. So uh, we've got right here the uh, system time and date, as you said, you can change them. And uh, it says at the bottom, it's generally at the bottom or off to the side, it'll tell you what keys you need to hit to actually get into those settings and to adjust them. Right. In this case, you use space to get in and the plus and minus keys here to, to actually change them. So that's, that's how you would get into that. Okay. Um, drive configuration. This is generally the first screen you will see on uh, another uh, motherboard's BIOS. And I'll, I'll try to get some screenshots of that and drop it in right here. Um, so you would see the diskette drive. In this case, we don't have any A drive on there. So to, to change it, you would just hit your space or, or whatever and then, and then scroll through the different options. And in this case, we don't really have any. So we're just gonna leave it as not installed because it's not there. Okay. Your primary master drive, it'll say your hard drive. Uh, you may have the choice between your hard drive and your serial ATA drive or, or another drive on your system. Maybe the CD-ROM will be your master boot drive. So you can adjust things there. Most of the time, I wouldn't mess with this stuff too much. This be actually, most biases will auto-detect. Modern biases will auto-detect this, this gear, right. will it not? They, they will. So yeah. in old old school biases, you had to set all of this by hand. to tell yeah, I remember cylinders was. and all kinds of nonsense for the hard drive. Yeah, and so in general, you can wreck things playing with this. If you choose the wrong thing, you can generally fix it back up again, but uh, it's probably not worth messing around with this too much. It's, it will make you cry if you do the wrong thing. Yeah, it'll auto-detect it, so don't worry about that too much. Okay. The hard disk drive sequence is something that you may want to uh, to check out. Oops, that's, that's not what we want. We want to enter there. Oh, where is that? System BIOS boot devices or USB device. Okay, so this will actually allow you to uh, boot from an internal disk right. or an external disk on USB. This is a, no, this is a new feature, isn't it? I mean, you know, USB drives, uh, external hard drives are a relatively new phenomenon. Mm -hmm. but the idea, I guess, is you could actually install a soft uh, and a whole operating system and all your uh, like software and things like that on an external hard drive mm -hmm. and come along, plug it into you know, any machine, changes and boot off of it. I think that, that's actually a cool idea. Mm -hmm. And as a lot of other machines are going without floppies these days and you need this USB presence recognized from the BIOS in order to upgrade the BIOS from within the BIOS. Right. Now, um, again, we'll talk about flashing the BIOS later. Um, so the boot sequence, this is one that uh, everyone needs to know about. This is probably the most common reason why you would ever go into your BIOS, right. I think. So if you're uh, trying to install software or to reinstall Windows or something like that, let's just, let's just use installing Windows Vista as an example. Now you have to put the CD-ROM into the drive and it will boot from that and install it from the CD-ROM. Yeah. Now if the CD-ROM isn't set as your first boot device, then what it'll do is it'll go straight to your hard drive right. and it won't even look at the Windows Vista disk oh, inside. Yeah, yeah. So what you need to do generally is uh, change your order here. Um, so you, you may have uh, between two in this case or up to five different devices. You might have the network in here mm -hmm. as a boot device. You or if you have a second hard drive, you have a second. Have multiple hard drives. Right. You might have your RAID uh, right. controller or you might have your, your basic IDE in here. Right. Um, so what you want to do is you want to find out what uh, keys you need to hit on this to bring the proper devices up to the top. So you're basically going to change the order of the list, right? So right. here I guess hard, drive, hard disk drive C is number two. Okay, so space will uh, Unselected. enable it, right? Okay. And uh, minus, uh, in this case, will move that hard disk up to the top. Okay, so now right. it'll boot from the hard disk first, and first. it'll ignore the CD-ROM and right. boot up. Okay. And we don't want that. We want to actually put that down below. Okay. So okay. we'll hit plus again and bring it down. Right. And in a lot of cases, it'll be like page up and page down will move things around. So it, generally, this will be right on your BIOS screen. Okay. Good. Uh, so we're going to hit escape and get out of that. Memory information, again, for the tweakers. Uh, it'll tell you how much uh, memory you word. have. Tweakers. Right. Yes. Sorry. It's just the word of the day. Tweaker. Tweak, tweak, tweak. <laughs> All right. Tweak, 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 tweak. Okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> so this, this right here is just here. telling you how much. Uh, it's really hot. It's just like dripping. Yeah. So this tells you how much RAM you have and what type of RAM it is, what speed it's running at, whether it's in single channel mode or dual channel mode. Um, again, this is not how all of BIOSes will look. Sometimes this will be in a separate menu again. Um, sometimes it'll give you the, the choice of, as to whether or not you want to overclock your RAM. Yeah, right. So overclockers would be very interesting going to their BIOS, mm -hmm. changing the speed of the yeah. what, what, what 
uh, the, they change the, the speed of the clock yeah. and they'll change the speed of the RAM. You can adjust it by one clock, megahertz. Clock being the speed of the microprocessor, not mm. the right. You know, clock. Your like, clock is one second per one second on the on the Windows desktop itself. But yeah, it, it generally runs at a certain number of megahertz inside the computer, and we'll see right. that on the CPU information tab as well. Yeah, I'm talking about not changing a clock like your grandfather clock or right. your. We're yeah. talking about changing the system speed. System speed. Really. Okay. okay. All right, so we'll look at the CPU now. And okay. Uh, okay, so we've got CPU speed normal. Now this is where the tweakers. Tweakers. Tweak, 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 tweak. tweak. So this is where you'd start changing things. So you'd hit space, compatible, normal, compatible. And in some cases, it'll allow you to, uh, to set user-defined settings here. So we can see our bus speed is at 533. And we can't change that in this case. This one is locked down. So you can see it's at the clock speed is 2.8 gigahertz. Uh, L2 cache you won't be able to change because that's hardwired into the processor itself. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you are able to start uh, upping your bus speed to 534, then 535, you can keep moving that up. And in a lot of cases, it will allow you to even change the voltage of your CPU. And uh, again, this is pretty advanced stuff. So in general, if you don't know what you're doing with this, leave don't it alone. It. If your system's running fine, do not play do with not this. Do not run up to uh, your uh, significant other's computer and go changing the bus speed just for fun right now. That would be a really bad idea. Your wife will kill you, or your yeah. husband will kill you. Right. You can really fry the components inside the computer playing around with those things if you don't know what you're doing. And, uh, and seriously, with, uh, with tweakers, tweak, 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 tweak. Uh, you know, be prepared to lose some equipment if you're going to do this. <laughs> you could very well overclock your uh, CPU into a state where it heats up and fries. Uh -huh. So be very careful with this as well. Careful tweakers. Right. Okay. So integrated devices here um, is where you will find things like your serial uh, port, your parallel port, and your sound. This will be where you have your integrated sound, your integrated network card, your integrated video. And uh, what you would do is you could turn them off from here. So in case you actually had a sound card that you wanted to add in, a brand new 6.1 channel card, you would actually hit this and turn it off. Oh, because you're talking the, the integrated sound on the motherboard, you go Right. And you put in an RG card or one of the Sound Blaster cards or whatever separately. Right. So right. if you're installing a new uh, piece of hardware, like a new sound card or a new video card, and you can't really get them working properly, check out your BIOS and maybe right. turn off the one that's integrated because that might be causing a driver problem on now the th system. These legacy ports too, I mean, a serial port used to be where you used to plug in your modem, the parallel port used to be a connector for your printer. Right. And I mean, and not, not so long ago, I mean, even like some machines, most machines are shipping with these ports still, but of course mm -hmm. they're for legacy devices, things mm -hmm. that are, you know, ancient, like your old dot matrix printer mm -hmm. would plug into your parallel port. This thing yeah. sounds like it's getting louder. I know, well, they, it's getting really hot in here. The temperature in here is probably now about or 40. 40 degrees uh, Celsius, you know, somewhere in the region That's of like 6,000 Fahrenheit. That's exactly <laughs> <laughs> It's July in Toronto. That's, mm. If you come to Toronto in July, bring um, bring ice cubes. Right. So we'll, we'll look at this right here. You've got your serial port set to auto, and uh, if you don't use a serial port um, device anymore, like a mouse or a modem or anything, right. just turn it off. Com one, com three, or off. off. Now, now would that be useful? Like, let's say you're having a machine that's suffering from power. Like, you, you, you're thinking about upgrading your power source. Turning a serial port or, your, or, your, or, or parallel port off. Will that save you any kind of power consumption? It won't save any power as you far won't? as I'm aware, but no. it will save you resources. And a lot of times when you have a serial port, it will assign an IRQ huh. or other system resources right. that could be used for other things. Right. Uh, and again, parallel port, if you're not using, you hit enter and it sees what mo mode it's in. That's ECP and wow. off. And again, if you're not using it, you can just turn it off uh -huh. if you're never, ever using it. Uh -huh. And again, escape will generally take you out of any menu system here. So diskette interface, read only, blah, blah, blah. I have no clue what this is, so I'm going to leave it alone. All right. Primary video controller, auto on board, uh, auto on board. So right here is where if you had another video card that you added in, if this one has built in and you added another one into it, then uh, you're going to switch it off here. All right. All right, so we're going to put that one back to auto because that's where it was. Yep. Power management is another thing you might want to look at as well. Um, it uh, tells your computer how to react when you hit the button on the front of your computer. Let's look in your motherboard's uh, BIOS for more detailed explanations as to how mm -hmm. this works. BIOS manual. Right, a mm -hmm. AC power recovery yeah. and, um, and the low power mode. Disabled in this case, but you can cha change it to enabled so it will actually suspend and go into a really low power mode right. if you're not using it for any okay. length of time. Well, that can cause problems in Windows, though, can it? It can. It, it can cause your system to lock out. Yeah. Right. So if, if you're having system hangs, turn that off. Right. Uh, system security is another good one. You have a password status on this is unlocked. 
Now you can actually password protect the bias yes. so that other people can't tweak your bias as well. Right. Tweak, 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 tweak. And uh, so system password, we're gonna enter your password and confirm it. We're not gonna do that in this case because we don't wanna lock you out. Uh, set up password, again, uh, the system and set up password are two different things. One will allow you to get into the basic system. So just logging on to your Windows machine at all, you have to know that password and set up will prevent you from gaining access. So put two different passwords there if you're gonna use them. Right. And uh, keyboard and unlock. This is another one that may vex a lot of people. This is always in your BIOS somewhere. So if you're never finding that your keyboard number pad works, turn this on. Oh, that's cool. And that, that'll determine how it fires up. It, it, sometimes it'll fire up with it on, sometimes it won't be on. This will make sure that it's always on. Okay. And there's a bunch of other stuff here. Uh, and, and these will generally be spread around in your BIOS. So it said it, each BIOS has a different setup. Right. And a lot of them will have more control. This one looks like it doesn't have a lot of control for the tweakers. No. Tweak. 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 Hey, did you, I bet you, bet you didn't know you're going to get tons of BIOS tweaker tips today. Mm. Right. There you go. That's a, a fine BIOS primer for us today. We, uh, we'll break for one more commercial message, and we'll be back with our final uh, words. It's Camtasia Studio, the fabulous screencast software from TechSmith. Record what's on your screen, narrate it, and share it online. Create demos, screencasts, training, and more. And rest assured, Camtasia Studio is made by wholesome programmers in Okemos, Michigan, the home of the hardiest geeks around. Quick to learn, easy to use, it's Camtasia Studio. Download your free trial and start screencasting today. Man, it's really hot in here. I think it's because of this... Uh... What, it's, it's running really, really loud. It must be really baking hot and uh, worrying yeah, about. Can you turn that off? Yeah, sure. Right. Sounds like it's ready for takeoff. Yeah. Let's, before it takes the table with it, let's get that turned down. Good. There we go. One, um, th one thing I did want to mention is we, we talked about flashing your bias a few times. Yeah. Now, flashing your bias is something. Oh, please don't. <laughs> flashing the bias is something you may want to do if you're running into any serious hardware problems. Mm -hmm. um, it, what does that mean, flash? Okay, the, the BIOS it has flash memory on it. Yeah. And so it, BIOS is software. It's software, right. right. It's software. It's a piece of hardware on your motherboard. A chip? It's a chip, but it is uh, basically a piece of software on that hardware mm -hmm. that will control the interaction between the hardware and your operating system. Mm -hmm. And occasionally they rewrite the BIOS software for your motherboard in order to allow it to uh, interact better. You know, something new has come along. They've got something that's more efficient. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's... Occasionally worth, uh, if you have really flaky system performance, checking to see if you've got a new BIOS. Now, when you fire up and go into the BIOS, you can generally find out what BIOS model number you have. That's sometimes just on the startup screen when you see the startup. Yeah, you'll see a version yeah. number, blah, 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 right. blah. You can hit pause on your keyboard to stop that and uh, write down what your BIOS is. number is and then keep we going. Should, we should do a whole ep separate episode about that, I think. Yeah, we, we, can, we can do a flashing BIOS because I think it's uh, worth going through okay. at some point. Right. But not now. We're almost out of almost time. Almost out of time. Uh, some final messages. Um, hey, if you uh, want to sign up for my newsletter at cyberwalker.com, go to the front page cyberwalker.com, and uh, there's a little pop-up, and you can uh, subscribe to my newsletter. I'd love to have you on that list. Um, I know that you're going to be spending more time on the forums. I am. Yeah, we uh, haven't had a lot of activity there, and we'd love you to go and contribute more there. And I said I will be uh, spending more time there and responding, answering questions, and just seeing what's going on. Right, you, you can get there actually, it says forums at the top of our brand new uh, website design at labrats.tv. Click on uh, the forums and you can go right in there. You should go to the forums too. I will, I promise I will. I've just been so busy with the books, but I promise to pop in. Oh, speaking of which, where's my book? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, well. Maybe someone hid it on you. <laughs> <laughs> my book, Absolute Beginner's Guide to Security, Spam, Spyware, and Viruses, Not is available. That, that will stop him from talking about at it. At your local bookstore. All right, well, that's it for us. My name's Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And we'll see you next time. We're ready to go. Are we rolling. ready, Clocks? This is rolling. Ready for some wackiness?
Wacky wacky! Wait, I'm channeling my inner Andy again. That's right. Where are the cats? Screw the cats. Cats are too hot. Yeah, they're too hot. They're hot. Alright, we're rolling? In un momento, vamos! Vamos!